Hey, howdy, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Ark Bell, found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. It's a half price books record fine day. I found some obscure curiosities today, half price books. I've got a couple of stories. First, I'm just going to start by running this little snippet of video, which many of you have probably already seen. But I'm going to play it again. It's Herman the Pug. There he is, Herman the Pug. He's running around. 11 weeks old. Came over to visit Hoover, the Wonder Pug. It was Herman and Hoover Day here at the White Villa. White Villa? That's the wrong place. So... The next thing is, here's a quick snippet of the sculpture. It's finished. There it is. It's called the Jiffy Pop J-I-F-F-Y Jiffy Pop Plant. Thanks to Van, who made the suggestion for the name. I'm going with it. If I ever sell the place, you'll get 10% of the proceeds subdivided down somehow so that it, you know... Never mind, okay. And then my wife gets some credit for coming up with the foil ball idea, put the foil balls on the end of it, really capped it off. People think I'm going to be communicating with aliens and whatever. And maybe I, maybe I, why do I need an antenna? I could do it now without one, okay. Other people, I'm afraid of other people coming over and like taking the foil balls, like, hey. We can take these to the scrapyard and make a million dollars. They'll just steal the foil balls right off the Jiffy Pop plant. Okay, go on. Right to the records. Half Price Books, 50 cent bin. Most of these came from the 50 cent bin. I'm come in, and all the records are clean and they're stacked up and they're neat and tidy. I'm like, oh, they just kind of did some stuff, went through, and there's a guy looking through them. He's not looking through them on one of the little red chairs with wheels, which I prefer. Sometimes I would sit down just on the floor, but he's on his hands and knees, like, and he's one of those people that's just looking for the titles on the spine. How he can see that, I have no idea. The little tiny type, and, and all the records don't have them, okay? So I'm like, well, okay, I don't think, I go all the way to the other end, I don't think I see. I'm in his way, and I'm doing my flip-through thing. There's a stool right there, with the red stool with the little wheels. I get on it, I'm flipping through, and he keeps coming over, and I go, well, I was, I, and, but, uh, okay, and then he's like over, and then he's in my space. He comes over in my section, and he gets right up on top of me, and he's like, there's a stack of records I put there, and he starts to reach for me, and then he's like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> he's like backed off just before I was going to kick him. All right, and then he was kind of cussing and crap. He went around, he's throwing 45s. I figure he's pissed at me. And then he comes back around after I've moved through, and he's like, kind of looks, nah, 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 nah. and he says, you go for the classics. And I look down, I and I look at my records like him. I said, uh, 50s and 60s mood music, mostly. I said, yeah. And then he got up and he left. Okay, that was the story from Ass Price, Ass Price Books. It's Bobby Scott, the amazing Bobby Scott, 108 pounds of heartache. At 37 pounds of heartache, I say, that's enough. I do not want a single pound, not even a half a pound more than 37. That's about all the heartache I can handle, Tiara. It's just, the, it was just a weird cover. The Pied Piper is going to be some kind of like easy listening vocal group. I'm probably going to hate it, but I picked it up because why? The cover was so weird looking. Thing I can't pronounce. By the Young Lovers. Now you might think this isn't very good. The cover's kind of neat and the record might not be any good, but I remember I've got it. I think there's a couple songs though that are kind of cool. Tam love tam tambourines, green tambourines, not too bad. Now here's something I found that I, I I couldn't really believe that I found on TR. It's another budget record, but it's Mr. Bongo. It's the Wilson Lu Lucius Wilson Luce trio, Johnny Tillotson. Did I butcher that? Who is he? I think this is his first record. That's why I bought it. It's kind of this like blue model cover. It's Frank Shaxfield. I probably butchered that name. I've probably been butchering it for four years. It's a local bluegrass album on a local label, Vetco. It's the Sweet Gingerbread Man, the Mike Curb Connection. I don't have any idea. It's really a horrible painting. Okay. 
And speaking of dances, here are Dances in a Line by Rudy Franklin, an elementary school physical education teacher. Speaking of covers that are... It's three naked gypsies frolicking with horses, petals, the dream spiral, baby rainbow, sky flowers, fables, and healing water. And this will be awesome. This one right here. And back when airbrush was a big deal and every album had an airbrushed cover, this looked interesting. Ray Conniff. I don't normally pick his stuff up because I've had a few of his albums, some nice covers on his stuff, okay? But the music is always just so mainstream, easy listening. It could be that right there, I don't know. Dorothy Donegan, don't know who she is. My Blue Heaven, could be interesting. I don't know. On ABC Paramount, it's more college drinking songs, kind of an obscurity. Abdullah. Blue, blue, Amir, blue, blah, 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 blah. John Clunson, Raymond, collaboration. I think I may have this one too, but I'm not sure. It's a great cover. And Jesse Belvin, Jesse Belvin on tops. No, it's crown. Sorry, it looked like a top cover for a second. A little bit more money than if, uh, than if it was higher. It was in the top bin where it cost a little bit more money. But it's a super cover. Look at that guy's face. Yeah! Really just not funny today. I can feel it. I can feel that you're not funny today. Like you were funny three or four days ago, you were really funny. Why didn't you just turn the video camera on three or four days ago and say something funny? Then just save it for now, because now you could use something funny 